Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. Sad day today, this is uh, a great way to start the week I guess, but we have now got part four, which is the last part of the Hachette Partworks trial, is a trial of Build the Hogwarts Express. Now it is a shame because we've done four issues of this and I'll tell you what, the quality is amazing. You've probably seen as well, I think the only thing that's plastic at the moment is this barrel which is going to go on today. Uh, everything else you're going to see here is metal uh, and the detail is unsurpassed. But before I show you what's in the magazine, let me just confirm this is a trial. Unfortunately, we've got our suspension letter here. Let me show you that. Basically it says, thank you for purchasing the Hogwarts Express. The limited four issue has now come to an end. We will be looking at the level of interest and making a decision about whether the collection will be launched nationally in the near future as so a thank you for supporting Hogwarts Express I can either tick that to get a refund or tick this to get a free gift I think I'm going to try for the free gift but you see how important it is to not only buy this if you see it in the news agents but please 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 just because this is a trial don't let it stop you from registering your interest on the Hachette site and the link is in the description for that uh, just so that they know how many people are looking to get this to be honest with you the Hogwarts Express personally I think it would actually sell itself you, that's because of the brand of being Harry Potter I don't really think you needed a trial for this um, but this just confirms that it was a trial and this is the last one uh, but let's show you what we've got to do in this stage so as you can see we've got the chimney box here we're going to be putting the chimney together and uh, we've got a little grill there for underneath uh, Harry's seat uh, that we had in the last stage there uh, I am going to try and light the lamp I haven't got any electrics to do that I might use my Arduino I might use a battery pack uh, so I'll either blow the lamp or I won't but we'll give it a go seeing as this is the trial uh, I think that'd be a good way to end this uh, so we're going to be attaching the chimney on threading the the lantern through now the lantern does only just sit on there it doesn't get attached because if it's attached you can't open the door on the uh, smoke box there so uh, that's only just sitting in these grooves here I believe that the actual tor tor the torsion of the cable will actually keep it in uh, and then as I said we're putting the grill just underneath Harry's seat on the carriage there and that's all there is to doing that and as you can see uh, from the magazine there is no other page to let you know what's coming in the next issue because that was the last one so uh, as I said pretty sad somber way to start it but uh, I am very much interested to know what this free gift is so uh, when I get it I'll let you know but without further ado let's get cracking now just recapping what we had last time, we've actually got the smoke box, we put the hatch on with the handle so we can open that out. We got Harry sitting on his chair here, looking just like that in the last stage. We've got the uh, boogie wheels, and as you can see I've put the uh, flanges on the correct way. I know about 200 people told me that I did it wrong, but now I have corrected that and put them on the right way. Uh, we've got the Hogwarts Castle badge looking just like that and we've just got the badge that fits onto the top of the smoke box hatch uh, looking just like that so I'm just going to keep these just out of the uh, screenshot just for a second because the first thing we're going to need is the chimney and this is what the chimney top looks like now this is just going to go in here just like that but it does need to be held in with a little bit of glue so what I'm going to do is just put a bit of glue just around the rim there Make sure you go all the way around here because, as I said, this isn't a plastic detail. This is all metal. So uh, you want to make sure you have got a good bond with the chimney section just underneath it. The advantage of it being metal, it's very heavy. So this is just going to go in here just like that. And I'm going to hold that into place. And there we go. That's stuck in. Now we've got a retaining collar for the chimney looking like that. It's got two holes in each side. What we need to do is put some screws into that hole. Now this uh, build does come with all the screws in this one. I think they're all the same. I'm just going to have a check. Yeah, they are two times four mil screws, these ones. So uh, they've labelled them as PM. So I'm going to get all of these open. And what we'll do, we'll put one in each side of this collar. But we don't screw it all the way down, just enough to hold them into place so that's the first one as you can see and put one in the other side as well and there's the second side going in just like that now we need to put the seating which looks like this again this is metal uh, on the chimney so the chimney is going to fit in just like that and this is going to be seated in top of the smoke box hatch here so it actually sits in quite flush 
like that. Now we need to keep this into place, which is why we did this collar here. Now we want to make sure that the collar is actually with the uh, curve of the inside of the smoke smoke box there. So as you can see, you have got a flat side and you've got the curved side. It's the curved side that's going to go up just so it fits flat and it's going to fit in sort of that way. So it's perpendicular to this side of the hatch and then we're just going to tighten the screws up to keep the chimney in place. So that's the one side done and now we've got to do the other side just through here. So what I'm going to have to do is open the hatch door and then we can screw in the other side here. And there we go. That's the jibney on and as you can see holds itself in no problems at all. So once again I'll just close the hatch door there just like that. So now that looks like that. How cool does that look? <laughs> Now we're going to be mounting the lantern. The lantern is just going to go onto the holder that we put here. Now, what we've got to do is we've got to feed it through the larger hole that you can see there. And to do that, we can't just put both wires through there because they're quite too thick. So you need to put one wire in. Just lie that down. One wire in. Hold it to one side once that's in. Just like that and then put the other wire in. There we go, and that's those through. So then we can actually pull this lantern down. And as I said, when we just looked at the instructions, we've got two little tabs at the bottom of the lantern just there. They're gonna fit in the two holes at the front, but this isn't glued in. So we need to sort of position it up so that it's gonna sit upright into those holes just like that and it is quite a tight fit so it does hold itself in there and then we've got this small tiny hole in the smoke box there a little oval hole that we need to put these wires through so once again we put one through and then we pull that through the unit here holding it to one side so then i can get the other one in just like that so i pull these all the way through there we go, so that now looks like that, and the wire is now hidden underneath, just like that. Now we just need to attach, as you can see this ends open here, this cradle here, which is actually just going to go over the wire, and it's going to slip in just like this, which is then going to enable us to screw all of this together. Now we just line up the holes here, which I'm just getting lined up here, and we're going to be putting four screws just in there to hold that together. So I've got those screws here. Let's put the first one in. Number one, and I can make that nice and tight. We'll do one on the other side here and that will line up the other two holes. You know, I'm feeling the weight of this and how this is all metal in my hand. It's gonna be sad that this is only done for issues for the trial, but uh, hash it. You do get the thumbs up from World of Wayne. Please go ahead with this because people are gonna lose their stuff <laughs> while they're building this because this is a really fun build as well i mean it's not too easy it's not too difficult either so it's quite an intermediary build this is but the details as you saw from the studs that we did here and i mean that is all metal as i said and because we've actually finished that now this will actually just fit on there i think we still got some more details to do on that but that looks absolutely amazing now let's see if we can get this lit so basically I've uh, I've held that together with my fingers, but as you can see, that's now lit. So uh, working good. I'm using four and a half volts on that and that's doing that fine. If I turn it off, as you can see it goes off. Pretty cool. Let's do that again with the uh, sign on. And there you go. That's with the sign on. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Now the last thing we need is just the seat looking just like that. So we're gonna be putting a grill under here. Now the grill is metal, uh, and we're going to need our duck nose pliers for this because we're going to be using a bit of bending. Now, on one side of these, we can see a, a sort of like engrave on one side, which is halfway up. And on this side, it's all the way flush with the grill here. So when you see an indent like that, it means you bend towards you, but towards that indent. So first of all, we need to bend these at 90 degrees. The flat nose pliers here again. These are in my Amazon store. Uh which I will link while I'm doing this. And we do the same on the other side here. Just like that. And then we just need to bend them up so it forms like a, a 
backwards letter L, a little bit like that. So we do the same on the other side. And when that's done, you should have some tabs looking just like that. And these are just gonna go into the little holes that you can see at the bottom there. They are gonna be held in with a touch of glue. So I put some glue just in there now. Little bit in there, little bit on that side. And then we'll put these in. And there you go, when that's in place, it's gonna look just like that. And that is all there is to do in this stage, and that's the final part of this trial. And there we go, that's all there is to it. So I hope you like that trial. If this came out, and I really would like to see this as a January 2020 sort of release, I haven't got any clue if they've got any plans to release it, but I just think that would be a good month to start that off. Fresh year, puts 2020 out the window, and it brightens everyone's eyes up with a brand new build for 2021. Anyway, listen, I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Tomorrow, we've got pack one of Agora Models, Shelby Cobra.